tonight is May the 8th, 2017. And just recently I've had uh, a few comments left on my Wi-Fi antenna uh, uh, video post. And uh, I thought I would show you guys something here from, from real antennas. These are some antennas I picked up. Uh, these are made by Polarad. They're called uh, reference antennas. Or precision, um, darn, what do they call these things? What's your exact word? Here's another one. Calibrated microwave test antenna. This one goes from 1 gigahertz to 10 gigahertz. It has this one little arm broken off. I've had all this apart. I'll explain this one to you in just a second. In just a second. But uh, <clears throat> what I really wanted to get around to, and I'm, I'm going to spare you the majority of the uh, grueling details of it, but <clears throat> I built a number of uh, parabolic dish antennas and I use a four inch diameter soup can or bean can or whatever you want for a feed horn. Now this is the real deal. This is a real feed horn and uh, I haven't looked up the specs of this one yet, but I'm confident it hasn't been messed with. See, it's got waveguide. Oh, there it is right there. Well, I'll be, look at there. I have to make a video of it to find some details of it. Anyway, that's not important right now. What is important is in the building of my antennas and the feed horns that I mount right here, except I use a can, and I use a bigger uh, parabolic dish too, um, there's always been a little bit of controversy about where the focus should be. Some people say it should be, you know, right outside the feed horn, right at the feed horn, inside the feed horn. Why don't we look at a real antenna, no baloney. Let's do the real deal here and get some real empirical data instead of something that we can Google and get somebody's opinion. Okay, I've already done this. So what you do is you put your uh, ruler across it like that and you measure from the inside here not the rolled part, but the inside, the part that would be part of the real antenna, from one side to the other. And this one turns out to be 450 millimeters. I'm doing this for our uh, European friends too, because I know they like millimeters. And it makes sense. But anyway, it's 450 millimeters. And then you lay your uh, straight edge across it, and you measure from the very center, right at the very bottom of the center right here. I'm, I'm using a little stick so I can get right down in the center of that screw and I measure it right there. See, I put a little tiny mark right there if you can kind of see it. You know, up to the bottom of this. And uh, I got uh, the big diameter, 450 millimeters. And, and uh, this length right here is 89 millimeters. Well, and then you go to Google and you find out in a lot of different places that here's the formula right here. The focal length is d squared, that's the 450, divided by 16 times d, the little, uh, the, the, the distance from the center up, up to the straight line across it. Okay? And if you do the math, you end up with 154 millimeters. 154.21 millimeters. Now we can't split it to 2 1, but 154 millimeters happens to be the length of this wire right here. If you can see, if I can do all this with one hand, 154 millimeters. Anyway, you may just have to take my word for it. That's as, as close as I can get, 154. You know, give me, give me a millimeter or two here. Okay. And then, if you put this right here in the center, and you try to put it up there, look. So it is inside. It goes inside. If you put it up in there like that, you see? It goes inside about that much right there. Now, that much right there is going to, you know, depend on the size of your dish, but that, that's a relative measurement and you can scale it up or down from there. 
So indeed, on, on a real genuine, no baloney antenna, the focus is is up inside, not too far. I don't know the exact number that, that you'll have to determine by yourself, but it is somewhat inside the um, the feed horn. Aren't these things deep? I love this stuff. I'm probably going to take this stuff off. I, I don't know what is this one exactly. I'm going to read about it first. But <clears throat> if I was going to use this, I would, you know, you can do a lot of different things, but you could put a dipole right there. You could put a um, uh, a slot feed. That's that's a, that's a little tedious to build. You have to, you know, uh, disconnect this and run the slot feed through here, which I probably won't do. But I'll, I'll use this for something. And this one right here, I've been having fun with it. I got to show you this. This thing is so interesting. It uses an end connector on the back. And basically all this thing is right there is like a, a female to female barrel. And it comes through. And if you can, if I can get the light on just right, you can see that in there. See that little white thing? That's Teflon. And the center conductor of the end connector connects to this right here. This whole shebang right here. This is one, one piece of metal. This is metal. There's nothing inside here. So it's actually feeding this right here. This is the driven element. That's why it's suspended like this. Uh, all this is right here is just actually to hold it into place. This one broke. I, I put new uh, nylon screws in it there and there. And uh, then I measured. I'm going to show you how to measure SWR these things too. And hopefully in a way that you don't have to have a whole lot of money to buy. At 1 gigahertz I get a return loss of 17 dB. This gives me a VSWAR of uh, 1.3. At 2.4 gigahertz I get a return loss of 6 dB which is VSWAR 3. And at 3.2 gigahertz which is as high as I can go my return loss is 10 dB which is 1.9. Okay? Well I hope this helps. The, the point of it was it's real empirical measurements of where the focal point should be inside of a feed horn. So I hope this helps you guys in some way if you start building these crazy antennas for Wi-Fi.